All right, welcome back to Let's Play Europe Universe Hells 4. You know what I didn't notice? I didn't notice this. Fetishist zealots up here. Independence for Taraskin? What? Apparently they've already risen up. But uh, yeah, 80%. But Calabar is at 0.5 things. And one of the things I forgot to do was I forgot to add them to my uh, trading company. Which does lower the... Unrest? Yeah, it's negative now. I think it lowers it by two. It doesn't say it does. But it does. Let's go ahead and take care of that for them. Um, yeah, I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and declare the war. Well, on Austria, we want to... Hmm... Now that would be interesting, but both Olenets and Corellia, I believe, are cores. Olenets is not actually a core. This is way less of a uh, an aggressive expansion hit, though. Yeah, all right. So we will go ahead. We will call our allies here, and we will go ahead and call this for Ladoga. Yeah. Alright, so, let's just move our guys let's focus on the, let's go there, let's just focus on the, uh, the west first, and we will leave, we'll leave these guys out in the cold because they <laughs> You know, they're, they're disloyal anyway. So, why do we care what they want? A knight to remember. Emperor George I is well known, or infamous rather, for his indulgent nature and lavish lifestyle. Do we have the indulgent trait? Is that why we're getting this? Yeah. Uh, while our uh, administrators often complain about this drain on, our, on governmental funds, knowing how to arrange impressive parties is a resource in itself. George I has made our empire many friends through his hall, balls and banquets. Now he's planning another grand event. However, the guest of honor, honor has yet to be decided. Bishop Otter of Verdun enjoys a good celebration. We should try to impress Yanza the I, the High Chief of Ashanti. Uh, let's improve relations with the Mecklenburg by inviting Prince Elector Johann V. Oh, Mecklenburg's an elector. They are all such bores. The event will be better without them. Uh, let's be friends with Mecklenburg. They're, they're Protestant, right? You know how to party like a Puritan. No, you're... Th that's that's the wrong guy. Yeah. I, I don't know if the Puritans were technically Protestant. I don't know how that works. I assume they were, because they were... I don't know why I assume they were. <laughs> let's, let's, let's be honest here. I have no idea. But, uh, yes. Was this mothballed? Why do I start at 7%? Oh, we can blockade here, too. I mean, I could spend some prestige and blockade them. Uh, let's see any reason to do that. At least not yet. Right, we'll let them walk around and do whatever they want. Take some attrition up here in Scandinavia. It's fine. What are my allies doing? They're they're moving. They're moving. Right, missions. Spice Islands. You know what? If you're not gonna give me any good pro good missions, I'll just take this one. That one's a good one. It's just not good for us right now.
Hmm. Maybe not like that. Eh. Who's in charge here? The four shot guy? Versus who? The four fire. Yeah, I think the four shot guy can deal with that. Get crushed. Can I uh, force march now? I can. Yeah, let's force march into this battle. Oh no, they're they're leaving. Okay, good. Let's turn off force march then. Won a couple of battles. Not much uh, problem. go here and then we'll split the split the army what are you doing can I catch you oh stack wipe <laughs> okay then I'll buy that for a dollar so where's the fort oh Piskov right Skov you know what? Let's go ahead and placate these guys. Uh, actually, we don't seem to need to, but... Alright. Novgorod. No, not new Novgorod, just regular Novgorod. <laughs> Where is regular Novgorod on this list? There we go. Siege that province. Actually, let's, uh... It's a level 2 fort. Let's just do that. Oh! Hello. Change our minds here. Ah, Milan's coming to help. Nice. Alright. Got a treasure fleet from them. Ndungan Separatist. Uh, and Wanda and Benguela. When will that happen? 1.2 years. And the uprising will be how big? 20,000. I don't have 20,000 left in my force limit to take care of that. Um, I have six here. I have three here. Let's take the New World guys, since there were just two revolts. We'll pick them up and send them over there. Uh, we need 30? We'll say 35. Seven cogs should be able to deal with whatever's there. 
or 17 cogs. That's where you're going, right? Yep. Okay. Show it on, yes. Nice. Are you leaving? Yeah, I'll, I'll go here then. Friesland's under siege. Yeah, I don't I don't care about this stuff. Okay, so the burgers just had a a bad thing go away. Uh, I only need a master of the mint right now. We'll let that stand. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that that happens again. Okay. Sure game. I have a siege leader available, don't I? I have a couple of siege leaders available. Oh, here comes France. Vive la France! Murder them! So if I am correct, then I should get a colonialism CB on them soon. Burgundy's ally with Cologne now. I can use that to my advantage. I'm not too worried about that. Go on, France. Go crush them. Crush those Russians. Crushians. Actually. Let's just do this. You can live here. Yeah. Breton La Plata. Nice. I approve. I approve greatly. Mur murder these guys. Alright. That seems useless right now, but uh, I'll be okay with that. Austria's doing this thing. Hey, hey Austria! Seize this province for me. No, no reason. I'm not gonna steal it or anything. Where's Russia's dudes? Oh, Russia's going around up here. That's fine. Let's turn on these forts. That's okay. I did have military access with Denmark? They do. Hmm. It'll take them a while to get through all the forts, though. So captured one of their ships. A galley, by the looks of things. I did lose some, some of my transports. That's okay. We don't need that many transports. Actually, we do. We need all of the transports. But we, we will accept such losses. What are you doing, France? Uh, 
uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell them to attach to me. So we took this province. Move over to Torzok. I mean, hell, we can just go straight for Moscow right now. They got them kind of trapped up there. Um, well, Milan's army's right here. France's army's right here. It looks like they're not listening to me. That's okay. I did wipe out one of their armies, but how much do they still have? Well, they fell pretty far down the list. It's down to 54. They have less than France. So France actually has a bigger army than they do in their in their country. So I think uh, Russia's dead. <laughs> we can just hang out. You know, make sure our armies aren't too small. And just siege everything up. Make sure we don't get too overextended and stuff. Keep an eye on where their armies actually are. There's half of it. Yeah, Austria is listening to me. Good job, Austria. Oh, we have a debate. Come on, colonist. Ah, no colonist. Okay. Um, an extra diplomat will be useful here. Mm. We're working on half price advisors. One of them, one of them is, and one of them isn't. So that's not worth its full potential. We'll go for... We'll take the trade stuff. Prestige. Uh, this. Navy commissions. Military support's easy. Local autonomy. No big deal. There we go. I'll help us out a little bit. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of more division here. France, where did you go? France is leaving. <laughs> the decree of indulgence in the bill of test. I'm laughing at France leaving rather than this. Charles II was secretly Catholic, and his brother James openly. The decree of indulgence in, tr issued in 1672 was aimed at relieving the situation for dissenters and Catholics. In addition to personal reasons, any king who supported Catholicism could count on the support from France. In fact, Charles II got his reward in form of a large sum of money and a treaty closed behind the uh, back of the Parliament. Around the same time, Parliament issued the Bill of Test, which again excluded the dissenting religious groups, including Catholics, from public offices and allowed persecution. The Parliament in, uh, subsequently raised the issue of excluding the openly Catholic James II from succession rights. Say, religious freedom for all, lose one stability, and get missionary strength minus one, tolerance of heretics plus two, Protestant supremacy, lose one stability, gain one missionary strength. Our Catholics, that's dumb. Um, hmm. This is clearly better. I mean, I'm gonna lose stability either way. Being at plus two stability is not bad. Missionary strength? I mean, we'll take it. Fine. Screw you, guys. Take that, Catholics. 
And then Madeira, our last Catholic province so far. I really should have somebody occupy <laughs> Corellia. Hey, you. Or, hey, uh, actually, Novgorod. Go occupy Corelli for me. You have to go to Yarl's level. Yeah, these armies aren't very well balanced or anything like that, but it's fine. Candelaria is now fish. Uh, did we get our CB? Maybe once they're finished, it will. Wow. That's a real comeuppance. I just saw, um... I just saw Delhi declare war on the Timurids. Oh, you could use a Siege General. I don't think we need that many cannons, but we might, so... I'll go ahead and give them that. Oh, give me the points. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. I completely forgot about that. Ten more years of separatism there. Yeah, we got caught with a spy network. That's fine. Ah, oh, disease outbreak. Boo. Buttons converted to Catholic. That's not a good plan. All right, Bremen. You will get out of this war, yes? He won't give me this province. I don't really want 43 aggressive expansion for no reason. Um, I'll tell you what, though. I'd rather have the prestige than this stuff. Alright. Now, you, Saxony. Oh, they're in a coalition. Is the coalition against me? Oh, they're targeted. They're in a target of coalition. Okay. They're targeted by a coalition. It's not often that you see that on hard. People getting targeted by coalitions. Mostly because the AI is a little bit smarter. But yeah, Oh, I, I have a ton of money. I have a ton of money. I can build these last few troops. Let's build five more cannons. And build some more cavalry since my... Uh, range, uh, my flanking range will be higher. Let's build some galleons. Uh, these are frigates. What am I doing? Let's build like 10 galleons. And... Let's build... I built... Um, let's look at the thing for the next institution. 
So we're good. We we have a uh, we have a uh, plantation. Uh, I could build another one though, um, if I have the tech available to do it. Uh, where is this place? Is iron, so I could build a weapons manufactory here if I wasn't building a ship. Right? Well, but I'm out of money. So I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Ndongo, like... Oh, and Dongo is like something that didn't... Never really existed, even. That's cool. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. Let's not get too distracted, right? I think Novgorod's troops died. Portugal's got global trade. Siege of Moscow should be over soon. So what do we want out of this war, right? We want a return core of... A bunch of stuff to Novgorod. Let's leave Karelia out of it so we have the option open. Like this. Like that. Some of this. Dog is barking upstairs. Um, so that's 51. I actually kind of want a peace deal where I can fit in a humiliate. So like that. And then we'll take Narva. Instead of Narva, should we take Olenets? That looks good. And then we'll just give the Olenets to, to Novgorod. I don't know, we'll think about that. We'll think about that. Obviously we need to... Oh, well, I want to... I lost a claim on Oldenburg. Well, that sucks. I want to do my threat and war thing on him. Now would be a good time to declare war on Cologne. I mean, let's be honest here. What are you doing, France? Ah, now they're back. Now they are back. Alright, let's group up a little. This should be done soon. There we go. Almost here. Should have paid closer attention to that. It's all right, though. So once this is here, we can smash them with both of these armies, and I guess I'll call it an episode. 
Oh, he's leaving again. Where's he going? Away. Wherever he's going. See you later, Russia. Marital Bliss! Her Majesty the Empress Consort is, of course, our constant companion. We've had this event before. Uh, I'll take a base tax for having to give them money later. It's fine by me. Why do they suddenly get medium enthusiasm? Hey, Spain, you're up here. She's had problems for me. Scandal at the court. Uh, cruelty of mercenaries. Crap. Do that. Uh, what is this? Who the who the hell even is that? Nice. I'll take a loan for it. I don't want to lose stability. These guys? Uh, Comoros, huh? Huh. I didn't even think this had a... this had a core. Yeah? I guess so. Well, hopefully we're, we're done with this stuff before that happens. That'd be really cool if Ndungo just, like, ripped a hole out of these guys. Well, we kind of got distracted a little bit. Let's check the peace deal again. Uh, we're not too far off. Yeah? How many more forts, more forts do they own? One, two, three, four. And a ton of land. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> Ah, there's their army. They're back to low enthusiasm. Uh, how does this help me? Uh, let's see. Demands to exceed war score, obviously. How much could I lower that and have them actually accept? Just as a thought experiment here. I'd actually have to get it below uh, a 
the threshold of things that I actually want, so... No, not that. Okay. Alright. Let's just move on towards Nizhny Novgorod. And I guess we should... Move these guys over to the Comoros and deal with that rebellion. But that will have to wait till next time. So next time we will continue our war with Russia. Probably take it to its logical end. Uh, it looks like most of their armies were going this way, so we'll see where they end up. Um, I mean, it looks like uh, they have probably rebuilt a few of their troops. Uh, but I think we're going to come out of this pretty good. Uh, we're, we are lacking a lot on manpower now, but uh, I, think, I think we'll be fine. So I will see you next time on Let's Play Europa Universalis 4, where hopefully we don't have to take more loans for stupid events.